Hi! In this video I'd like to show you how to auto set your tool height on your CNC router. You need some kind of a touch off block. In this case I machined one out of uh, billet aluminum. It's an inch and a quarter thick at the bottom here, half inch on the top. It's got a couple of brass rods that go in bronze sleeves there. See the spring in the center. On the bottom here you got a counterboard hole with a screw in it. Um, which threads into this top plate only. It's a through hole in the bottom, which allows it to slide. You can see it slides up and down. Um, it also allows you to turn the screw and set the overall height of this block. So basically, I put a caliper on here, turn the screw, and I can set this to exactly two inches, is how I set mine up to be. Um, it's got a hole on the side here. I made up a, a special cord. Um, on this side here, a banana plug just plugs straight into a round hole, which is kind of a nice, easy plug, nice and removable. Um, on the other side, standard RCA. I mounted an RCA jack on my router. I'll just slip that in there. Now what you do is get your tool block, get you back on video, uh, just underneath the router bit. You always want to jog your router close to the plate, somewhere in the center. Um, it only has to be within an inch, um, but it's going to travel down very slowly, so I usually set it, you know, kind of closer, half inch, quarter inch, something like that, just somewhere above the plate. And I'll bring you over here to the computer to show you how that works. You've got a uh, auto tool zero button on Mach 3. Um, I'll show you how all this works in a second because you've got to install this uh, to make it work, but I'll show you how mine works. I'll click this and go back over to the router. So you see it touched off the block, made an electrical contact, knew the height was set at 2 inches for the block thickness, and then retracted back to an absolute 3 inch, or 1 inch incremental up from where it was. And that's it. Now my tool is set to zero. It's about three inches off the table right now. Back on the screen. CZ 3.0. Now to make this work, there's a couple of things. Um, first of all, the way that this works is you have to use an input uh, from your breakout board as a probe. Um, I'll take you over here and show you in my electrical cabinet. And here's my input output board, you see the relays and things. This is from cncnc.com. I use this input right on the right, this uh, green cord and this little red one. The green uh, runs just to the machine ground, it's actually grounded to the frame, uh, since the frame is steel. Um, the red wire runs out through that parallel port, out the back here, through all the energy chain, up around, out through the final uh, Z energy chain through this loom, and has a port right on the front. Now in your RCA plug, the center pin is what I'm using. The outside would normally be ground, and I certainly don't want those to touch inside the wire, so I strip back inside the wire. Um, that's why there's this piece of heat shrink on here. Um, the outside connectors to make sure they don't uh, they don't touch together. Because if you put the if you made the outside and the center connect, then you've just closed your circuit and it won't function. So basically, it just goes in there like that. Same on the other side. This is basically now the the positive side of my switch. I've just connected it through that RCA to here. So this becomes the positive side of the switch. The machine itself, including the router bit, or ground. So now basically what you've got is your, your ground and your plus. When you bring them together, you just completed the circuit, so now the machine gets the input and knows, uh, knows what to do. To make that work, go up into my uh, configuration, ports and pins, input signals. Down here, you should have a probe. Now a few things here. you got to make sure your probe's active, of course, enabled. Uh, it's active low. 
um, and your port and pin need to be set. Finding which pin it is can sometimes be a problem, but there's a help for that in Mach 3. They have this automated, uh, automated setup of inputs. You click that, you choose which input you're looking for in this drop down. There's a probe switch on here, we'll click that one. Auto set. See what it says. Searching for signal activation. It's waiting for the switch to be closed. So what we're going to do is come here and close the switch by touching it. Now you'll see signal set to port 1, pin 13. So we say OK. Now, I have to show you on here, I know for a fact that my port number is 8. Pin 13 is right, but port 1 is not right. Not sure why that doesn't work, but basically come here and I'll make it 8. So I get 813, now you know which pin you're on. I'll say OK. You gotta reset because you had a configuration change. Reset. And now I'll show you how to uh, make the auto tool zero button work. Up at the top here, under operator, edit button script. You see what happens is it flashes the buttons that you can edit, minus this one. But you get the auto tool zero. You click that. And when you first open this, you'll probably just have a single line up here saying something like, button not enabled and nothing under it, no code, it doesn't do anything. Uh, Mach doesn't come with this preset, so um, you basically take the code, which I'll post uh, under this video or a link on my website at www.rhfabrication.com. Um, you can just uh, copy the code and paste it in this button over everything, um, and you close it out. Save the changes, yes, and that's it. Now I'll show you the other side of this on the offset and probing tab up here. Like when you first get Mach 3 it comes with, it just says offsets here. I actually installed, let me show you, um, a screen set I found on CNC Zone. Haas probe code, that's what it was called. Um, which gave me this probing screen set. Now this is nice, it does have the, uh, the tool touch off. See the plate sec set to two inches on the plate thickness. Um, you've also got a, uh, a centering routine for finding the center of a circle or touching off corners on a rectangle or however you need it. And that probably works great if you're machining metal. You're touching a metal tool or you know a proprietary probe off to your workpiece. But on wood, since I don't have the probe, the router bit doesn't make an electrical contact with the with the wood, so it doesn't really do me any good. Uh, what I do use, though, is this plate thickness, two inches. Um, and what I found that my Z zeroing routine from Haas did not function on my router properly, and I wasn't able to edit the code on here, which is why I went through and did it on the main screen on that uh, auto tool zero button. I'll just show you one other thing on there. We edit the button script again, auto tool, right here. So I've got plate thickness in here. That comes from that Haas offset tab. Um, if you don't use that screen set, which if you're not going to touch off circles, I don't think you need to, <coughs> you can just set your plate thickness right in here inside the button. Uh, with a hard number rather than using that. Let's see if changes. Yep. And that's just how simple it is to do. So I hope you found this video uh, useful for you. Um, if you run into any problems, questions, uh, feel free to email me. Uh, check out my website, rhfabrication.com. There's uh, a lot more information on the build of how I made the, the touch off block and just kind of a uh, general overview of what we discussed here. But uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.